accurate. So, a uh, messenger RNA. Messenger RNA carry genetic information from DNA to the ribosome for protein synthesis. So, we already talked about this uh, in the previous slides. And messenger RNA is formed by transcription. We also talked about this in the previous slides. And uh, transcription requires DNA uh, RNA polymerase, which is important. Binds to okay. Again, you see uh, the suffix ASC. That means it is a uh, it is an enzyme. It is an enzyme. What is the function of this enzyme? The function of this enzyme is to make RNA polymer. The function of this enzyme is to make RNA polymer. What is RNA polymer? It is messenger RNA. Well, remember DNA replication that we talked previously? DNA replication. In DNA replication, the DNA polymerase uh, has to bind to a, something called a primer on the DNA in order to start the replication. Similarly, RNA polymerase has to bind to something called a promoter. Promoter is basically a special sequence on DNA. It's a special sequence on and DNA. Then the RNA polymerase will uh, start to work to uh, make the messenger RNA, basically. But there is no heat case. Why? Because RNA polymerase work as a helicase as well. As so it unwind the it open up the DN, the DNA helix. So RNA polymerase works as a helicase, works as a polymerase. So it unwind the DNA and it also um, start to uh, build or elongate or make or elongate the uh, messenger RNA based on the uh, 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 DNA sequence. So uh, last bullet point, RNA polymerase join new RNA nucleotide in a sequence complementary to that on the DNA. So RNA, oh by the way, the messenger RNA that is made by the uh, RNA polymerase is also from 5 prime N to 3 prime N. Yes, RNA or messenger RNA, they all we can also n number the uh, carbon atom in the pentose from f 1 prime to 5 prime. And the uh, newly made messenger RNA uh, on the DNA template, it is the the newly made RNA is also from 5 prime N to 3 prime N. In other words, the RNA polymerase move from moves on DNA from three prime n to five prime n. So the DNA is like a railroad, okay? DNA is like a railroad. So RNA polymerase is like the uh, uh, train. It moves on the DNA railroad from three prime n to five prime n. When when the train is moved on the DNA railroad. Then the messenger RNA is made. The messenger RNA is like the smoke, the smoke coming out from the uh, from the uh, 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 the engine of the train. The smoke is the uh, messenger RNA, and the messenger RNA is made from five prime m to three prime n. I hope this train rail and the smoke 
help you to understand the relationship. Well, this is the best analogy I can come up with so far. So when messenger RNA is formed, okay, it has the sequence of the bases complementary to DNA. That's why I said that DNA is like the railroad, and then uh, messenger RNA is like the smoke coming out from the uh, engine of the uh, of the train. So you can see that okay, on the DNA you have ATGC, but on the RNA you have U A C G U. Okay, U is the uracil, okay, no longer T. Alright, this picture is much better than my drawing. Okay, um I didn't draw anything anyway. <laughs> this picture is from your textbook. Okay. You have the RNA polymerase, okay? If you look at it carefully, um, the template strand, the DNA template strand, okay, DNA template strand, basically it is from the free, the RNA polymerase is moving from the free prime end to the five prime end, if you trace it carefully. So the train, uh, the RNA polymerase move on the railroad DNA from the railroad DNA 3 prime end to the 5 prime end. And then the smoke make the smoke which is the RNA messenger RNA, the smoke coming out from the train uh, RNA polymerase, uh, it is made from the 5 prime end to the 3 prime end. In other words, whatever, whatever made by the enzyme polymerase, it doesn't matter if it is DNA polymerase or RNA polymerase, whatever polymerase they are, they make the uh, they make the polymer from five prime end to three prime end. So this is transcription. Transcription is a lot easier. Okay. Transcription is a lot easier. So the coding strand, uh, nothing occurred. The template strand, template strand, they are the template for making the messenger RNA. And you have the promoter sequence. Promoter is a special sequence on the DNA that the RNA polymerase recognize, and then it will dock. Dock is like a ship parked on the uh, park next to a, a pier, okay? Promoter is like a special sequence that the messen uh, the RNA polymerase can recognize and park there and then start moving, start the uh, transcription. Okay, um, between transcription and translation, there's a hidden step that I didn't mention. It is the processing of messenger RNA. So uh, first thing is that I don't like to call it primary messenger RNA. I would just call it pre. Most of the textbooks just call it pre messenger RNA. Pre messenger RNA. Okay. The pre messenger RNA. What is the pre messenger RNA? Pre messenger RNA is the messenger RNA that is newly made right after transcription right after transcription. In the pre-messenger RNA that is newly made right after the transcription, you have something called intron and, extron, and exon. Let's take a look at the exon first. Exon, they are the portion of the inject that will be expressed. Okay, expressed as protein. expressed as protein. So how do you memorize it? EX goes with EX. That makes your life easier. What about intron? 
Intron. Okay, they said that they had an intron gene segment that get removed. I don't like the word intron gene. It's too fancy for many students. In, um, so I would like to say that intron, they are the junk. <laughs> I call it the junk. Actually, they are not the junk. They have a uh, their function. But at our level in this class, you can just call them the useless junk, see, junk segment. The junk segment that is instead of get instead of get removed, I'll say uh inserted. In between. Exxon. That's why I define Exxon first, so that you know the significance of Exxon. Exxon, they will express as protein. So intron, they are the junk sequence that, uh, that are inserted. I n in between exons. So all the I n goes together. All the I n's goes together. That's how you memorize it. All the I n goes together. Okay. So the processing of the messenger RNA is that in the pre-messenger RNA, which is the newly made messenger RNA from uh, transcription at the end of the transcription, you have both exon and intron. So you want to remove. You want to remove all the intron, and you want to keep all the exon. So that's the main goal of the processing of the messenger RNA. And other than that, you put uh, something called guanine cap at the five prime end. And you put a uh, poly A tail in the three prime end. So uh, it's like the um, shoelace. It's like the shoelace. Okay. Um, so it's like the shoelace. Have you heard about something called an egglet? You know, egglet is basically the name of the piece of plastic at the end of the shoelace. Okay. Um, so what's the purpose of that plastic at the end of the shoelace? It basically keeps the shoelace from unraveling. So the plastic, you know, really um, tight, um, keep the shoelace really tight at the end so that it, it, the shoelace will not have the loose end, literally will not have the loose end, then um, the shoelace will not unravel from the loose end. So the guanine cap and poly a tail, they are like egglet at the end of the shoelace. It keeps the exon sequences in the mature RNA from uh, broken down. Why do we why does it need to be so secure? Because the mature RNA they will go through the nuclear pore so that uh, the, the entire mature RNA will go from the nucleus through the nuclear pore into the cytoplasm to continue with the uh, a translation process. That's why the guanine cap and poly a tail they act like egglet. Egglet. Okay. Okay. The mRNA processing. Is